Hello and welcome to a world's draft analysis for the match between KT Rolster and Origin. Not many truly expected that Origin could beat KT going into this game, but Xpeke and his team showed that they were more than ready for the challenge even before entering the rift. Right out of the gate, Origin put themselves in a prime position to take the game with an excellent draft. However, the highly aggressive players of KT Rolster made it very difficult to get through the early game with a lead. In the draft, Origin focused all three of their bands on potential mid-picks, but this wasn't in fear of Nagne's individual strengths on these champions. In fact, they were banned for much more specific reasons. Azir has been nerfed numerous times but is still incredibly strong at what he does best, late game hyper carrying. Incarnation from Cloud9 in particular has shown what this champion is capable of when sitting on a pile of gold. For a long time now, Lulu has been a huge priority pick due to her unmatched ability to turn any hyper carry marksman into an unstoppable killing machine. Lulu remains as one of the most banned champions in Worlds thus far and will likely continue to throughout the rest of the tournament. Since the rework, Gangplank has been a strong champion in the meta, being played regularly in both top and mid lane. And while Zoas has proven himself an incredible Gangplank player, Origin definitely did not want to run the risk of handing this explosive pick over to KT in the first round of the draft. It was clear from Origin's choices of bands that they had prepared a lot to shut down any powerful mid threats. But what about KT's bands? Time and time again, Niels has proven himself an incredible threat on Kalista. His synergy with Mithy on when and where to use his ultimate has won them countless teamfights and was one of the main deciding factors in Origin's wins over both LGD and TSM. Continuously one of the most popular and stable support picks in the meta right now, Braum offers a strong level 1 and a massive amount of chase pressure in engagements. Banning Braum and leaving Alistar open at this point in the draft meant that Origin was willing to give Alistar over to KT. Thanks to TSM's Wild Turtle and H2K's Yarnin, the world was shown just how incredibly strong Mordekaiser can be with just a few resources, and KT certainly did not want to run into the same problem that LGD had in their game versus TSM. After the bans conclude, we see that there are still a number of very strong champions left open. It is hard to say, but the idea here is likely that both teams are looking to bait out the other one into some sort of stronger picks like Fiora, Elise, and Darius because they feel very confident in the matchup against those champions. The pick phase began with KT first picking Elise away from Amazing. This was undoubtedly a smart move. Grabbing a strong jungler early on in the draft meant that KT was looking to take map control fast. Score definitely showed this in the game, making good use of Elise's jungle pressure against Gragas to win vision control for KT in the early game. On the other side of the draft, Origin picked up Thresh and Gragas. Their main support, Mithy, is a great Thresh player, and the Thresh vs Alistar matchup has a lot of potential for winning the lane early, as well as bringing both Engage and Peel for teamfights. More importantly, it is huge for Amazing to get Gragas because it secures Origin a solid front line with a ton of CC and tankiness. Without showing any picks for top, mid, and AD, KT chose Alistar and Kog'Ma which are two decent picks, but with Fiora, Olaf, and Darius open at this point, it begins to look like a hard game for Kog to survive. So far, the jungler and support can't really provide peel for Kog, and against Origin especially, Xpeke and Zoas are very good at making their way into the back line and sniping off key targets. In response to these two picks, Xpeke pulls out the Twisted Fate with no hesitance, and Niels goes for perhaps one of the weakest AD carries in the current meta, Severe. While it might seem strange after we saw how it didn't work out for both LGD and Fnatic, Origin had a very good reason for this pick. From these four picks, we can clearly see Origin's team comp strategy. Go in and go hard. The main thing to take away from these five picks is that Origin definitely did not want to play this game passively. Every champion in their composition has been picked for the primary purpose of fighting KT whenever and wherever they can. This suits Origin as a team very well, as in the games against TSM and LGD, their team fighting around the mid and late game was immaculate. The combination of both Twisted Fates and Severe's ultimate, combined with two teleport summoners, meant that KT had nowhere to hide. Origin's team composition also worked great for disengaging. With Gragas and Severe's ultimates, it is practically impossible to get caught. And although KT's composition, with Elise, Alistar and Echo, is good for picking off targets in lane and diving towers, the same doesn't work for 5v5s in the late game, where a Gragas barrel combined with On the Hunt can make it very difficult for either Twisted Fate or Severe to get locked down. Having seen a Twisted Fate on the enemy team, KT should have been expecting a split push from XPK in the mid to late game. In this situation, you either pick a strong engaged team comp to start the fight, forcing TF to come back, or, alternatively, you just win the early game to snowball the game entirely. When playing against TF, it is crucial to push down the enemy's mid-tower as soon as possible, while making sure yours stays alive. 
However, thanks to the Echo pick from KT, this becomes very difficult for them. There are many picks that are better either against TF split push, stronger in a 1v1, or overall better in teamfights than Echo, such as Victor, Diana, and even Yasuo. Picking a slow pushing champion like Echo gives Origin the opportunity to slow down the pace of the game, wait for TF to farm up, and create the opportunities around the map. In addition to this, KT were heavily relying on Alistar's flash combo to start fights. Without it, they have no reliable way of engaging, putting them in a very passive position. Once they were behind, it was difficult to fight back. With both teams saving their last pick for top lane, KT opted to go for Olaf instead of Fiora. This was because they wanted to have an advantage in the 1v1 matchup. Olaf also brings a decent level of engagement, but without Alistar's flash combo, he can't reliably get on any target thanks to Origin's strong disengage and kiting potential. Overall, Origin's strategy worked very well with their preferred playstyle, and was one of the key reasons they won this hard-fought game. Thanks for watching this draft analysis. For more Worlds coverage and League of Legends content featuring the pros, make sure to visit lolclass.com.